Hey guys, it's Chris. Welcome to the You Can Do It channel. Today I'm going to show you how to mill uh, firewood limbs out in the yard to make dimensional lumber so that you can make beautiful projects like this. Here we go. So I have a Rockwell Model 20 bandsaw. It'll do a 12 inch cut. And so I've got a lot of firewood around the yard and I was thinking, you know, how can I safely cut this piece of firewood, get an accurate cut, nice and straight, without cutting my fingers off, and also having it square and dimensional so that I can put it on the fence of my table saw and rip it and make some nice wood projects. So I designed a wood sled that will actually go along the fence, and I'm going to show you how I built it. So here's the sled that I built. This goes on the bandsaw in order to cut. I can cut firewood up to 33 inches. I can put logs in here. I can put small limbs. I can put a large piece of wood. Um, the wood that I use is three quarter inch plywood. I went to Lowe's. They have a section there. I don't know if every store has one where they have uh, defective plywood. They're usually in uh, four by four pieces. Um, I bought one 4x4 four four piece and then cut all the scraps to make this because I didn't really care. I didn't really need to have uh, a real nice plywood, but it is smooth, so it slides on the tabletop of the bandsaw. Um, so I have some miter track in here that I bought on eBay, um, and I'll put all the parts lists on the YouTube channel so you can see uh, where to get this stuff. Um, so I've got these half-inch miter tracks that I dadoed into the plywood. So they're recessed in the plywood. Um, this is what they look like here. These guys are 24 inches long. That's about all I needed in order to uh, make this sled. So I got two miter tracks. They're recessed in, um, followed by, I, I bought these I bought some stainless steel 5 16 bolts and I cut the heads off them and then I rounded the head or I brought it to a point on a grinder. And so what I did here was I drilled some holes in this. This is the, this guy right here slides in the miter track and it's adjustable depending on what size log you're going to put in here. And I've got the two tracks with the two, uh, I got these screw in. Oh, it's a bar knob. That's what they call them here. Um, so the bar knob screws on to the 5 16 bolt, and I just tighten it. You might have to put glue in there so it doesn't back off when you go to adjust it. And the bar knob, when you stick your firewood in here, will bite up to the log and hold it in place. Now I've got two here, and I've got two over here. I even have two more future ones over here. I haven't had a need to buy or use those yet because if I, have, I haven't really had a big piece of firewood that would actually go all the way over. But how these guys work, I've got these um, grab nuts. These, all the uh, hardware that I'm using is stainless steel so it doesn't rust. So sometimes if you're going to be milling some wet wood, um, you'll get moisture in there. And if you have just regular bolts, I just don't want to deal with um, having the rusty bolts. I wanted everything to be smooth. You can use, you don't have to use stainless. It's a little more expensive. Um, so this is a grab nut. It's got teeth on it. And when you stick it into the hole here and you put the bolts on the other side, you want to put a flat washer on there. So when you tighten it up, this grab nut will pull flush to the face of this plywood. And that's what you need. And, and ultimately this is the end result that you'll get right here once you tighten it up. So I've got on this side here, I put a piece of oak flooring that we had, some scrap that I was going to throw away. It's oak flooring, tongue and groove. And I'll show you why I put this on here. It actually slides on the side of my fence to keep it nice and straight. Um, and it's just it's nice and sturdy. It's flawless. It just it runs I had to put some min wax on the bottom of it to keep it to slide nice and easy to uh, 
keep any friction from taking place. This is the product that I used here. It's uh, finishing wax by Minwax. Um, I just put a little bit on there every now and again. Make sure you sand it nice and smooth so there's no uh, roughness because it will uh, cause friction. But you just have to apply a little bit here and there and it'll run nice and smooth. Um, I did dado. I dado this piece over here into the board to make it nice and sturdy. And then I took some scrap stair treads that were made out of oak. And I just, I took a jigsaw and cut a handle on it so you can get a nice sturdy grip on it when you're pushing it through so you can stay away from the blade when it's cutting. Um, you don't have to mount a laser. I put a laser on mine so that when I put the wood in here, I can line it up fairly good. Uh, most of the time I would just snap a line on it, chalk line on the piece of lumber, so you can get it square in your sled. So when you make the cut, you're not cutting a bunch of, you know, too much wood off one side when you could have made a lot more lumber out of it. So I'm going to take this thing, I'm going to set it up on the bandsaw, and I'm going to show you how it works. So I mounted a three-quarter piece of oak wood with the v-groove up and so basically this is what you're looking for here it's, it's a it's a you're basically just making a track that this can slide on it's going to run right through here i put this block here it looks you know you're probably wondering why is this block on there this keeps the sled from flipping up when you have the lumber on it um, when I built it, I stuck it up here and I was adjusting it and I didn't have anything to hold the sled steady and I almost lost it. So I installed this. It's just a safety mechanism because once you get it up there, it, it won't. It's, it's secure. It's nice and steady. It's not going to come off. So I'm going to go ahead and install the sled onto the molding. So I'm going to mill some cherry wood. I cut this in the backyard. These are some cherry limbs. And I just thought, well, you know what? Instead of throwing it away, I'm going to make some lumber. So, so basically, I just get this guy in here. You want, to, you want to line it up with the blade. I have this laser on here. You don't have to have a laser, like I said, but it just makes the job a lot easier for me if you're doing a ton of this stuff. So you just kind of want to get it off to the left side of the sled as much as you can hanging off. Uh, make sure it's up against your spikes here. I just kind of push it on there a little bit. And you're going to want to bring this guy up here, tighten it up. And then you'll run this spike into the log. You just want to make sure everything's adjusted properly. Yeah, it's looking like it needs to move over to the left a little. Right there. And when you tighten this in, it bites and it will not move. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and make the first pass for you so you can see how this works. so that we can get another flat edge on it and then actually we can take the sled off and then run it through the actual fence that came with the bandsaw or you could run it on the table saw.
So this is the end result. I made some three quarter inch thick cherry cuts here. And it, as you can see, it's, I mean, once you cut this stuff in, it's, it's really exciting. It's, it's really fun. But once you get to a couple straight edges where you can rip it on the table saw, it's endless what you can do. I mean, you can make uh, cutting boards. I made this cutting board. Um, this is out of oak, uh, walnut, and there's some cherry in it as well. Um, it's just, it's a lot of fun. So here's, here's a couple real long cuts that I did. It's kind of a butterfly effect here. And I'm going to make one more pass on a real big piece of wood so you can see what the bandsaw can do and what the sled can actually do as well. So this here is the end result. Um, I milled that big piece of wood that you saw. It was a piece of uh, maple. It was burl. So thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Have a great day.